Good morning, YouTube! This is my tutu. everybody doing okay as you can tell this is my first vlog ever and I wanted to create a series called becoming an interior designer and my main reason for doing that is because I noticed that there's not a lot of content currently on YouTube about interior designers showing their life, how their industry works, how their day-to-day -day life works, the journey it requires to become one, what kind of steps a person needs to take to get there, how long does it take, what 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 things person does to become one, right? And by no means am I an interior designer. I literally just embarked on this journey a few weeks ago. And for those of you who have already been on my channel, know that I did a little video on my career path change and how I decided to leave my current profession to pursue something that I've always had a passion for and currently what kind of schooling I'm doing to help me get there. So if you want to check that video out, you definitely can. There's this one interior designer on YouTube. Her name is Karen Vaughn. If you guys are into this kind of thing, you must definitely know her. And she's doing an amazing job on her channel, like walking her audience through a day in the life of and the activities the projects she takes on and the clients she she interacts with and it's an amazing channel and it's something that is so informative so if you're someone like me that is looking to gather as much information and knowledge as possible then i would definitely recommend you check her page out and she has no idea that i am talking about her so free publicity but yeah she's amazing as for me i wanted to start this routine vlog that would document my journey of how i'm going to become an interior designer and currently what steps i'm taking so i hope that you guys like it it's going to be a very honest and natural what i did on a day, on a specific day, what kind of obstacles I'm running into and what tips and tricks I can share with you that have helped me kind of go in this path. So today's vlog is all going to be about getting started because you have to get started somewhere. And for me, it was the day that I quit my job. Now I'm not telling all of you guys to do the same. Of course, definitely not do that. You have to take a lot of things into consideration like your financial stability, your dependency. For me, I was super lucky and I would call myself privileged enough that at that time when I did decide to quit my really high paying job, that I could make that decision, right? My husband was there to support me and he said, if you need to figure things out, like do it. It. and so I was able to take that leap of faith but fast forward to a few weeks later here I am and in those few weeks you know of course I've been not going to work but I've also been working hard and trying to figure out a brand for myself trying to figure out an identity for what my business is going to be what I want my business to be like in the future because the whole motivation for me to do this is in the future I can one day own my own business and have a group of really intelligent people that I work with and take on clients and projects and just like do stuff that I actually really really enjoy so I wanted to share with you what I did to kind of get started. Number one, create a name for yourself. I know this can be a little bit challenging because when when people say let's come up with a title or a name, it's like you have sometimes you get writer's block. But I would say definitely think hard around what you want to be associated with. Like what is that name and what is that brand that you want people to start associating you with? And so that's exactly what I did. You know, one day I kind of just sat down and did a little brainstorming session of my own. I kind of noted down all of the different words that, you know, that remind people 
people love interior design, home decor, lifestyle, and all of that. And I nailed it down to Elevated Living by Sarah Adnan, which is the name of you know my channel and, and then also the name of my Instagram page. But it starts from there. You have to figure out what you want to be identified as. And then from there, you just have to start building your brand. So step two is to create that social media page, whether it's Facebook or Instagram, you gotta just do it. You have to create it. And it's fine if your content is not going to be an expert level or pro level, but you just have to start somewhere because if you do it one day and then you post a photo the next day and then you post another photo the third day, you will naturally see yourself getting better better you will naturally see yourself getting into the rhythm of things you're gonna see what kind of look and feel and vibe you're trying to achieve on your page now social media itself i know can be so intimidating especially for someone like me because I'm not the type to spend my whole life on social media. Like it takes a lot for me to, you know, think about content, think about um, a photo, like take a photo, edit the photo, caption it, hashtag it. Like that is just such a mission for me. But you just have to do it because A, it's a free platform where you can go out there and brand yourself. And B, if you don't do it, unfortunately, you're just never going to get recognized by people, right? So that's, that's two. And number three is to ask yourself, should you be going back to school? There's a lot of people who, you know, bypass that route and just pursue stuff on their own. They learn from the internet, they learn from professionals in the industry. But if you're someone like me who likes getting a theoretical foundation of an industry and also is more of a visual learner then maybe going back to school is a good option for you now when i say going back to school like i don't mean you know busting out your savings and doing like a 20k program there's a lot of options out there for adults for people who have a full-time job there are some courses that are flexible that can be done on a part-time basis and so just do your research just figure out what kind of schooling you want to take and the other thing i would emphasize on is try to look for a course that will get you credited at the end that will give you a certification or that will give you some sort of like here's a verification of that you did it you studied and you're good to go so that would be just my one thing because i know there are a lot of workshops that are like a day workshop or a two-day workshop that will teach you you know a lot of the things but they will not really give you like you know like a legitimate paper or something that says hey you've just been certified so that's just really important just make sure you look for that what kind of schooling i'm doing i am currently taking an online course by the interior design institute i talked all about them in my video which i posted a few days ago so if you want to check it out you definitely can i talk about in detail of how amazing that course has been for me and the fourth thing which i'm going to talk in a lot more detail in my second episode episode of this series is networking how far the power of networking can take you you know there's a lot of people that say networking 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 but you have to do it right that's 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 what i've learned there's a formula to it again i by no means i'm an expert of the formula but like you know i figured some things out and i want to share those with you uh, because i hope you know that they can help you um so that's going to be on episode two yay we're going out to grab some food for iftar because i didn't cook anything today so that's what takeout's for you know quarantine life maximum two people You're gonna go on my YouTube channel. Yeah. That's right. Okay, we're done for vlog one. So let me know how you guys liked it. Please comment uh, so I know that what I'm saying is useful. And of course, if you want to continue seeing more vlogs like this, subscribe so you are the first one to know when I post one. <laughs> so yeah, that's it for today. Until next time, bye. Ooh, love you.